with a combined weight of 249 pounds from Los Angeles, California, Big Mo and Little Mo Locomotion. And in this corner, their opponents weighing in at a combined 228 pounds from Beverly Hills, California, Linda and Cat Nasty Girls. This match, this match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Ken Resnick and Sergeant Slaughter here at ringside in the LPWA. And Sarge, I've been looking forward to this. Take a look at the size and physique of Big Mo. Sarge, get this. She bench presses 400 pounds. Her arms, when she flexes her biceps, measure 20 inches around. Wow, that's almost as big as mine. Just about. And it's Little Mo starting off against Linda, the nasty girl. Little Mo weighs only 99 pounds. Now, I want to tell you, she could be in for a long evening. Well, she's definitely uh, outweighed in this match, but uh, maybe she'll make up for it in uh, speed and agility. Linda goes right to work, boy, the hair on the arm, the nasty girls, quick tag. They That's are something. nasty, aren't they? We're the best tag team in the world. And nobody's nastier than us. Okay, the nasty girl showing a great deal of teamwork. They're wasting no time trying to hurt somebody. Well, I, I can't blame them. I guess if I was one of the nasty girls, I would want to keep little Mo in the ring. I would want no part of Big Mo. I wouldn't want to have Big Mo coming after me. I'd have to question the strategy and the part of locomotion by letting little Mo start the match. Well, she must have a lot of confidence in little Mo. As Cat continues to work on little Mo, and very honestly, so far, little Mo has been able to generate no offense whatsoever. Now, again, this is the third tag already on the part of the Nasty Girls. Little Mo has been in the ring totally on the part of locomotion. Tremendous move there, killer. Very, very excellent. A lot of quickness by the Nasty Girls, Sarge. They're, uh, they're quick and they are nasty. They certainly are. Linda now goes to work on the hamstring area and now goes in for a leg lock. Got her locked up pretty well there. She almost got a three count. Very close. I think Little Mo, as we talked about, a bit overmatched here. You've got to almost feel sorry for Little Mo. You've got to wonder, at 99 pounds, uh, she's going to be overmatched just about every time she steps in the ring, but you've got to give her a lot of credit, of course. Uh, I don't know, a good friend of both of ours, Glenn Sanborn, former coach of the Minnesota North Stars, always used to say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog, and we'll see what kind of fight Little Mo has got. But, oh! Oh, right on her head. Double clothesline takes her right down, and again, another tag, and the cat back in on the part of the nasty girl. Now, Little Mo goes thrown over. Man, I don't know, that may have been a mistake, and here comes Big Mo. I think they better look out now. And suddenly the cat is maybe having second thoughts, but look at, look at this. Wow. She picked her up like she weighed about 10 pounds. He is strong. Cat, suddenly you can see the scared look in her eyes. That's Big Mo. Look at that. She's big, strong, and mad right now. I want to tell you, Big Mo is going to be a force to be reckoned with. She goes to work on the armbar, twists it around, and strength drops the cat right to her knee. I still can't get over the physique of Big Mo. She's got to spend four or five hours a day in the gym. Nice rollover, takes her down, and continues to hold on to the armbar. They definitely do spend a lot of time in the gym, you can see that. I tell you what, she has some kind of biceps. Bench pressing, if you missed it, over 400 pounds. Came in and very quickly, momentum shifted over to the size of Big Mo. Take a look at that. Oh. I want to tell you, you talk about some agility. Linda comes in, a boot to the rear of Big Mo, seemingly had no effect. None at all. Although I did give Big Mo. Uh, Linda caught it with a drop kick. Now take a look. Cat from the outside grabbed a handful of hair. Linda now takes it down with a veal throw. They hold her over in the corner as Cat grabs a handful of hair. Referee Jesse Hernandez ordering the plate. Little Mo comes in, tries to pull Linda off. Doesn't have a lot of success as the referee orders her back. And 
The Nasty Girls double team Big Mo, but she fights her way out. Take a look at this. Look at the strength of that woman. You can believe that. I want to tell you, she's holding up there in a backbreaker. And she just Did you dropped give it up? Her right down. I didn't see any signal from the referee. Well, I'll tell you, these Nasty Girls aren't too afraid of uh, their opponents right here. They went right after Big Mo. They really have. Look at the power. That arm Whoa. right around. Now the knee drop right to the sternum area. <laughs> what a powerful woman. Well, Big Mo tags off to Little Mo. Whoa, Little Mo drop comes in, drop kick right to the midsection. Little Mo's got some fight in her after all. She goes right to the work on the cat. Again, a drop kick. She didn't get a lot of height, but did the damage. She's oh. mad. She is mad and fiery, holding on with a headlock. They took advantage of her. Whoa, Cat. what a suplex. Cat with a suplex. There's that weight differentiation. And Cat was able to get a two count on Little Mo, but Little Mo gets right back up to her feet. Went for a leg to the midsection and missed it. Cat goes right to work, holding on. Almost looked like she was going. Got her hair. I tell you, these nasty girls are nasty. They don't uh, seem to care about their bodies too much. They go in there and mix it up. They really are. You know, almost, I'd have to say, there was a couple times early on they had a chance to pin Little Mo. But they were more interested in just hurting her crowd, not chanting. They're chanting for Little Mo. She's going around. She's trying to set her up in a Boston Crab, and she's got it. She's got it hooked. She's got it hooked. I don't know if Little Mo will be able to get out of this one or not. She's trying to drag her over to the center of the ring, and in doing so, lost her balance. She goes right back for it. Well, I think she's trying to get over to her partner and put a little extra pressure on her. Oh, they made now, now, look at ref referee Jesse Hernandez. Referee Jesse Hernandez. Yeah, he's got his hands full tonight. Mo was able to work out of it. And a drop kick by Little Mo. She has got a lot of intestinal fortitude. There's no question about that. Well, the referees got to look out for those gals. I'm telling you that. The nasty girls exhibiting a great deal of teamwork. Little Mo giving the nasty girls all they want right now and more. And the nasty girls bail out. Look at this, Sarge. Little Mo goes right out after her. They're out, and here comes Big Mo. We've got a free for all right outside of the ring. Now it's Big Mo and Linda inside, Little Mo and the cat on the outside. And look at that. Big Mo sends her flying across the ring. Linda now trying to go for a headlock. Big Mo picks her right up, and the referee catches a boot right to the head. I'll tell you what. Referee Jesse Hernandez, he's got all he can handle. This one's getting out of control. This one is long out of control. Linda goes right after the referee. Referee oh. calling for the bell. He's got a little bit too out of hand there. This one totally out of control. Good call by the referee. Good call, Big Mo, not willing to break this one up at all. Come on, it's on the I think the referee, Jesse Hernandez, is disqualified. Both teams will wait for our official decision. This one is totally out of control. Referee better watch out. The referee has disqualified both teams in this match. Well, Sarge, I can't really say I blame him. Well, I think what happened, the referee realized, and rightfully so, he just totally lost control of the match, and really it was his only course. Well, he uh, got knocked down once, uh, looked like inintentional, but uh, the second one was an intentional knockdown to the referee. So, but I want to tell you what, Big Mo is a force to be reckoned with here in the LPWA, that's for certain.